Kayla. Welcome back to my channel, KB Beauty. I want to thank those of you who have been actively engaging on my videos, commenting, liking, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much I appreciate those of you who have been watching. And those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe down below so you can be updated when I upload new content. And without further ado, I hope everyone is having a great day and let's just get on into today's video. All right, so I just wanna let you guys know if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my notes because I have all of the information I wanted to tell you guys today as well as the prices for each item. So I'm just gonna grab the first item. It is the e.l.f. Coreless Putty Primer. It looks like this. It's just like a little putty as the name states and you just scoop it a little bit out and you don't need a lot at all and you smooth it on your face and it primes your face before you put on any foundation or powder. So that's the first item. That is $8 and you can get that at either Target, Ulta, or elf.com. And the next item here, I'm trying to go in the order of how I would put them on my face so I have them all laid out next to me. Um, the next item here is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer with Satin Finish. This retails for $5.99 and you can get this at TargetElf.com or Ulta as well. Um, I use this to cover up the dark circles under my eyes as well as some blemishes that I have on my cheeks that you cannot see because I covered them up. So. I really like that. Normally, I do use the Fenty um, by Rihanna uh, concealer, but that one I do feel works just as well. So then the next thing I have here is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Full Coverage Weightless Feel Foundation. And this is my favorite, all-time favorite drugstore foundation. There aren't many brands that have my color and foundation, and this is a, one of the first ones that I found that actually had my color. And it is, it the formula is so smooth and it goes on, it's so lightweight, you don't even feel like you're wearing makeup, but it is full coverage. So I'm just gonna squeeze out a little bit so you can see on my hand. what it looks like. It comes out, it's not like a liquid, it's more of a paste, and it it smooths onto your face just like butter. That's that's all, the best way I can explain it. And it, I would really highly recommend you to try this if you're looking for a new affordable foundation. It's $10.99. You can get this at Rite Aid. I know Target does have them in certain shades. They don't have them in all shades, so do be careful. And I know that you can also get it on L'Oreal's website. So that's the first foundation that I like from the drugstore. But I'm going to show you the second foundation that I would have as a backup if I was not able to get that foundation. So I have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And this one is more liquidy. It is um, like a liquid um, foundation consistency. And not that I, I have a problem with that, but it's, it's a little less easier to smooth. Um, I put all my foundation on with a brush, so that, so that makes it a lot easier than using the Beauty Blender, I feel. That's just my personal opinion. I know that other people do like using the Beauty Blender instead of the brush, but I really like that foundation as well. That's affordable also. That is $5.39 at Target, Rite Aid, Walmart, Walgreens, pretty much any drugstore you've ever been to probably has Maybelline Fit Me. And actually, I realized that I haven't been telling you guys the colors that I wear, the, the shades that I wear the foundations in. I'm in shade 312 Cocoa in the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. And I am in shade 360 Mocha in the Fit Me Foundation. So the next product here is going to be the Maybelline Fit Me. There's a lot of Maybelline in here, actually. Um, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. So I use this to set my face. I put this on before I put my bronzer on um, because it just makes it a nice, 
after I put my foundation on, it makes it nice and smooth so that I can add the other products to my face. So this is also very affordable at $5.39. You can get this at Target, Rite Aid, Walgreens, anywhere that carries Maybelline will carry this powder. And you get a good bit in there for $5.39. So I would recommend this as well. The next item I have here is a bronzer. Normally my favorite bronzer is the Fenty Beauty Bronzer, but if I was gonna go to the drugstore and get a bronzer, I would get this one. This is the Wet n Wild a Color Icon Bronzer in What Shady Beaches. And this is a pretty comparable to the bronzer that I use now. It's actually a little bit lighter than my liking, but it works well. I used it on my face today and I have like a slight glow up to my face. So I do really like this a lot. That retails for $3.99 at Target. And then the next thing here is gonna be the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. It's in medium to dark. They also have it in light to, a light to medium and light to medium, medium to dark, and dark to deep. So Black Radiance is great for women of color and it has so many different shade options that other brands and other companies don't offer. So Black Radiance, if you're looking for um, different makeup that covers women of color, Black Radiance is where it's at. And I believe they're owned by Wet n Wild. They're the same company. So this looks like this. You get a contour, a sculptor, and a highlighter. And if you're not sure how to use these and you're new to makeup, there is a nice little, got a little dirty because of the makeup, but there's an application guide and it shows you how to put on each different um, product. So this is a nice all-in-one little palette. And that retails for $7.99 at Target. I've also seen it at Rite Aid. So then the next thing is blush. I have two different blushes here today. One of them you can get at the drugstore, the other one you can get online, but from the when I go into more detail about where I got it from, you're gonna be really shocked at the price and just how well it works. Okay, so the next product I have here is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Ripe and Ready Blush. It is a cream blush, so it actually comes in a tube and you squeeze a little bit out and I take a blush brush and I swirl up my blush brush in it to get the color on it and then I just dab it on my cheeks. I don't want to put too much on, of it on my cheeks because I don't want it to be, you know, too pigmented, especially for the look that I did today. I want it to be more subtle since my eye look is a little more flashy. So this retails for $7.69 at Ulta, and this is the first time that I've ever used this color, but the reason that I picked this up is one of my favorite YouTubers, Andrea Renee, she went on one of her videos and said that this was a dupe for the Fenty Coolberry blush, the cream blushes that just came out, and I tried it, and it I have both of them, and it does look really similar to that. So if you're interested in the Fenty Beauty blush and you just don't want to pay that much, I would recommend that you use the CoverGirl blush. So the next blush that I'm going to talk about is this AOA Perfect Blush in the shade Auburn. This comes from a website called Shop Miss A. It's .com. It's everything is a dollar. Mostly everything on the site is a dollar. Foundation, there's blush, there's lip gloss, there's eyeliners, eyeshadow, beauty tools, brushes, you name it on this site, it's a dollar. So I would highly recommend you check out that website because there are so many different products that I've tried from there that I'm in love with. And um, my favorite product from them is actually their brushes. So I will show you those closer to the end of the video so that you're able to see the quality of the dollar brushes. So then the next thing I have here is a blush lighter. 
Yes, I didn't stutter. I said blush lighter. This is the Wet n Wild Hello Halo blush lighter. So there is a highlighter on this side and then there is a blush on this side and you're able to have both in one. So this is something if you're trying to save a little bit of money, you want a highlighter and a blush, you just buy one product and you have both. So this retails for $4.99, which I don't think is bad when you're getting two products out of it. And I didn't use this one today. I did use the CoverGore Coolberry on my cheeks. So then the next items that I'm going to show you are eyeshadows. I'm wearing one of the palettes today. I'll show you that one first. That one is the, it's the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette. It looks like this. And this is the color Hot Jalapeno. They're $3. You can get them at Target. You can get them at Elf's website and also at Ulta. And it just depends on which retailer you go to to the, the colors of Berry at each store. So the first one I showed you was Hot Jalapeno. The next one here is Berry Bad. The next one I have here is Akai, <laughs> Akai See You. And then the next one after that is Rose Water. Then there is Carnival Candy. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but this is a blue color. The next one is Pumpkin Pie. This one is truffles. And then the last one here is cream and sugar. So I really like these palettes. These palettes are so easy to use. The formula is so smooth and so buttery. I've never had a drugstore shadow that works as well as these do. So I would highly recommend that if you're starting a new makeup kit or if you're just new to makeup, even if you just pick up these two, the cream and sugar and the truffles, these two together are a good, great beginner makeup kit. Okay, and then like I said, those retail for $3. Okay, so the next thing I have here is this Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. This is in the shade Blackest Black. I am wearing it on my eyes now. I know it's hard to see with my glasses on. But it has really nice length to my lashes. My lashes are probably medium length normally, but if you look, you can see the definition that the mascara has given it. Um, I really like this mascara. And this one is not expensive either. This one comes to $8.99. You can get this at any retailer that sells Maybelline. Like I said, drugstores, Rite Aid, CVS, Walgreens, Target. And pick that up if you're looking for a good long lasting um, lengthening mascara. So then the next thing that I have is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Retractable Eyeliner. I have two of them. One's still in the package because I got a new one. This one is in black. This one is in black. And this one is in black brown. This is the one that I use under my eyes today. And it just has a little retractable tip. And you squeeze it out. I like this better than the pencil eyeliners that you have to sharpen. It's just one extra step that you can cut out of your beauty routine. Those retail for $1.99 at Target. So then the next products that I have here are for your brows. So I picked up this Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. Looks like this. It's actually really skinny. Stick. And it's got the little spoolie on the end. 
and I use this on my brows today. I don't do a lot with my brows. I just like to fill them in so that they're darker. I don't do a lot of shaping to them. I just want them to look, you know, darker and full. So that retails for $6.99. Once again, you can get that anywhere Maybelline is sold. The next product that I used on my brows is this Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. This is $2.99. You can get this at either Ulta or CVS. I know some of the, all the drugstores don't carry Essence, but I know for a fact that CVS and Ulta carry them. So this was $2.99. And I just used that to go over my brows so, and lay them flat so that they would stay in place. So then the next product I have here is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss. And it is in the shade Sandstorm. It's what I'm wearing on my lips now. It's just a nice subtle peachy pink colored lip gloss. That retails for, I actually don't have a price for that one, but I will link in the comment section down below the price of that lip gloss and a link so that you're able to purchase it if you'd like to. And then I have one more item here. Well, there's four more items, but there is these brushes. These come from shopmissa.com. I love these brushes. They all work so well. These are just four of them. These are the four that I was using today. So I pulled them out just so I could show you what they look like, but there's no shedding. They're really fluffy. This one, I really like this one. It's an angled brush for contouring. This one's a little flathead brush. This one's a little stipling brush. I use that for blush. And each one of these is a dollar. One dollar, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar. They sell a kit. The white ones are the sculpting ones. And then the black ones are just your basic everyday brushes. I have both sets and it cost me $20 and I got 20 different brushes. And I've had them for months and I don't have any shedding and I don't have any problems with blending and they are cruelty free brand if that's something that you're interested in they're cruelty free and they do have promotions where they donate to the animals with certain items that you purchase on shopmissa.com this is not a sponsored video also i'm not sponsored at all there actually is one other thing that i would like to mention today i would like to mention the garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. It has a blue cap, sold at Target, Rite Aid, Walmart, Walgreens. And the most important thing about wearing makeup is how you're gonna take it off. Cause you don't wanna be sleeping in yesterday's makeup and you don't wanna leave it on your face because then you'll start to get breakouts and you'll start to see a lot more damage to your skin. So the micellar water, I use it to take off waterproof mascara and eyeliner. And you just take a little cotton round and you can wipe your whole face clean with the micellar water. So I would recommend you pick that up as well if you're thinking about getting your own drugstore starter kit. Okay, everyone. So that was all that I had today. I do hope that you found this video informative and helpful. And I do wanna hear what you think down in the comment section below. Let me know if you have any drugstore products that you like that I should try out. Let me know if you try any of these products and your results. Also comment down below and let me know what kind of videos that you'd like to see from me going forward. And I want to thank you so much for tuning in to KB Beauty and you guys have a great day.